Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I'll be showing you how you can easily display your blog post of your WordPress website in a grid layout using post text, a Gutenberg post grid block plugin. Here goes the classic style of the blog post in your WordPress website. And the problem is the readers need to scroll down a lot to see all the blog posts at a glance. But if you can display all the blog posts like this, then the reader will see a lot of posts at a glance. And these are modern layouts. Well, in this video training, as I will use Postex Gutenberg Block Grid plugin, let me show you some best features of this plugin. First of all, it's based on Gutenberg, the native editor of WordPress CMS, so it will boost the performance of your website. And secondly, this plugin offers advanced query builder and you can also display or design any custom blog post using this plugin. And last and finally, you can use short code to any page to display the blog post. Okay, let's get to be started. I will provide the link of this plugin in the video description. Once you have clicked on the link, you will be sent here. And here you can see a large blue button. Download now, just click on it. And here you will see the pricing section. But you can start with the free version of this plugin too. If you need more features, you can upgrade to pro version. And the best package among this is lifetime unlimited. If you are a web developer and if you run any web development agency, I think Lifetime Unlimited package will suit you. Well, once you have successfully purchased any package, just click on your My Account or log in to this account and go to the order. And from here, you will get the downloadable file. Here it is. Just click on it. Okay. Now, let me show you how we can install this plugin. Well, here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website. And from plugins, I'm going to click on add new. This time, I'm going to click on upload plugin. Click choose files. And here is the file. I'm going to select here and click open. And click install now. Click this button to activate. Well, friends, the free version and the pro version of Postex plugins work together. So, once you have downloaded and installed the pro version, you will have to install the free version. And you must see something like this install Gutenberg post blog. Just click on this button and reload this page. And click here to activate. And here goes the dashboard of the plugin. That's all. Once you have successfully installed, you will see a menu called Post Blocks. And here goes Overview, Saved Template, Pro Features, Add ons, and Settings. Okay. Leave it default and let's go to the pages here i have some pages but i would like to show the grid on my home page here you can see my home page is very basic i'm going to design it so what i'm going to do just click on this edit button or link and open in a new tab and here you can see the home page of my website and here goes a block library button you can see it because of this plugin. Okay, if I click on it, and here goes starter packs. Like any page builder, you can import a complete layout in your WordPress website. That's fantastic. Here goes all the available layouts. You can filter it by free or premium. 
if you have free version you will get this three layers if you have premium you will get all of this as i have premium i'm going to click on here to import this page but before i do that let me show you the ready-made blocks that the plugin comes with and here you can also filter by free and premium okay here goes all the available block sections a lots of blocks and using this you can easily design your block section of your WordPress website what I'm going to do click on starter pack again and click on premium and I'm going to import this on news too just click on this import button and before you import you can also see the live preview here it is okay I'm going to click on import and here you can see it instantly imports all the settings that the layout has that's fine and hit this update button and now if I reload my website here goes the content but I'll have to change the page template okay if I go to the page setting and here you can see I'm using extra theme here goes page attribute and choose post x template just hit update If I reload this, here goes it. So, using this plugin, you can easily achieve any nice looking professional layout in your post section. Okay, so by now I have installed the PostX plugin, I have imported the layout. So, let's see how we can configure this layout or just customize this layouts go to the edit page and here you can see each of the part has a section if you click on it the blocks come here and on the right here you can see all the respective setting options and you can also change the demo content instantly okay let's start with this on the first one if i click on here here you can see the option and on the right if you click the block settings and you will see the name of the grid it is post grid 5 and you can see the demo also and here goes two design types design layout you can switch to this or this okay and it happens instantly okay friends here if you scroll down you can see ready-made design and if you don't like this one and want to uh, achieve this one or anything like this just click on import at it changes instantly okay so under first tab design you can change the layout you can change the ready-made design and another one is advanced you can add additional css class okay let's move on to the settings under setting you will see general and here you can see the gap you can add any gap to all of the blog post then you can see the gap between the images you can add gap if you like and go to the height you can increase or decrease the height of all the post box here you can see I can easily increase the height or reduce the height and friends here you can see the option for height or show the title okay the titles are gone you can show or hide the excerpt you can hide or show the category you can hide or show the meta you can display read mode okay 
and you can easily show or display the filter you can easily filter the content according to the category hit update I'm going to reload this space okay here it is let's see the advanced query builders after general here goes query if I click on it and here you can see quick query select advanced query and you can display the sticky post you can display the post according the most comments most comments one day most comments seven days and most or popular views one day view count and seven days 30 days and popular post all time random post random post seven days and latest post according to the published date latest post last modified date oldest post published date and oldest post last modified date okay so here you will see a lots of query options to display your blog post and here you can see post type you have post pages and you can just um, display any custom blog post and you can sort by the taxonomy value okay and you can order by date order by comment count okay and order ascending or descending you can include any blog post but you will have to put the post id if you have multiple posts you can just separate the post id with comma you can exclude any post okay and surprisingly you can offset i mean discard any number of blog post that won't be displayed if you like just uh, you can offset past five posts or last five posts and okay that's all about query builder let's see the image here you can see how our animation is just the image goes to right or slide to right you can change the hover to zoom in here you can see it's zoom in and zoom out and you can change the opacity rotate left okay and slide left you can just add gray scale and box shadow overlay type default or multicolor flat so if you would like to make your block layout unique you can do just playing with all the setting options that comes with post block plugin and go to the content here you can see you can add animation to content let's see the filter options you can add more filter options at the moment it has all entertainment gadget if you would like fashion you can easily add fashion you can add food if you don't like entertainment just click over here on the plus close sign and you can easily remove that pretty interesting again go to setting okay and you can change the alt text for the filter and the filter will be based on category post tag and post format you can change the color and go for excerpt read more and advance okay these are just mind-blowing settings and let's move on to advance and here you can see add id i mean any css id to this section add background color add border box shadow and you can manage the responsive settings 
Okay. So, in the same way, if you want, you can just customize any section of this layout. I'm going to hit update. And if you don't like any section, you can easily remove that too. Let's talk about the ready-made grid. If you want to add any grid here, just uh, let me show you. If I hover over here, here you can see plus sign. I'm going to add a block, column, and on column. And clicking over here, uh, if I click on browse on, here you can see all the post grid available. And heading options, post module. Post module means a complete layout. And post grid means a small grid or section with some block post. And let's see if I hover over here, you can see the demo on the right. Demo preview. Okay. Let's click on post grid 6. And it has automatically added here. And in the same way I showed for this post grid 5, you can change or customize this grid okay friends so uh, let's click on update again and preview this page so here you can see this was our basic style and now i have successfully displayed all the posts in a grid layout well friends i hope you enjoyed this training and you could successfully follow the steps i showed you you can try the free version of this plugin and if you are happy you can go for the upgrade package and I'll provide the link of this plugin if you follow the link it will be sent here and you can easily upgrade to this plugin so that's all for today I hope to see you again with a new video don't forget to like the video share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching